Hey guys, welcome to my fourth auto coding tutorial. Today I'll be showing you, sorry about that. Today I'll be showing you how to make groups in your GUIs and menus, which are kind of like these things up here. These are menus. And they'll have their own little functions and do things and they do things. So it's pretty cool. But um before that, we're going to open of course open up side editor and now we're going to save it as something. But we don't need to do that yet because we're going to make our GUI first and our GUI little thing. Oh wow, did I open up Visual Basic? Yeah, no. Alright, we're just gonna make something really simple. Doesn't really matter. Like, that's alright. Yeah, oops. I don't want VB up. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, add a button. Maybe a starting button. Over here. Uh, stop button. Right here. And a little input box. And like an input box over here, and oh, God damn it, out of here. Sorry, fucking unresponsive. All right, and we're gonna add one more button. Uh, continue. I don't know. It doesn't really have to do anything. All right, pretty crappy, but it's just for this. Oops. We're gonna save it as something. Just. Already did it before, so it's um menus and groups and save it. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh now open up your side editor and we're gonna open up that file. Uh alright, there's before anything, there's two files I want you to include. They're up on top. Pause it, whatever you need to do to get those in. I'll zoom in, don't worry. GUI constants ex.au3 and static constants dot au3 okay we're gonna test it out to make sure everything in our GUI is okay obviously not well wow. fucks everything up left top with 50 height 20 Just like this um our continue is way too big um, now let's make it a little bigger with And these inputs, left top width, need to be way bigger. What the heck, negative? Alright, that happened before. Okay, that's pretty good. Doesn't really matter. Let's move this over a little. Okay. Alright, now we have everything in the GUI. There's our while statement, which pulls the GUI for if these events occur. Um, if you close, exit. If you click button 1, something happens. If you click some button 2 becomes a function, same with button 3. Make sure you watch my other tutorials if you don't understand that. And here are the functions down here which do something if you click them. But we're not going to do anything with them because they're pointless. Today we're learning about menus and stuff. Okay, well now we're going to make our menu. Um, it's just going to be menu 1. You have to use a variable for this. Menu 1. Hold on, sorry. Sorry, I'm just a freak about that. I don't know. Menu 1, and then we're going to do GUI control create menu. Just like that. Um, the subtext is going to be what it's going to look like. Sorry. And it's going to just be file. Look at that. It's right there. But if you click it, nothing happens because there's no, there's nothing in it. Now we got to get something in there. Now we're going to do um, help. Something basic. You uh, control create menu item, which creates an item in that menu. So it's going to be uh, help, and then the menu ID is what menu you're going to put it in, which is menu one, the first one, which is file. So you're going to put that variable menu one. Why is it doing that? Oh, make sure you close those uh, quotations, and that's it. And we'll test that out, and see it has help. Stop it, Angel. She's my bird's biting my computer. Alright, let's see it has help, and we're going to add one more, just for the fun. Um, exit. It's going to be GUI control creates menu item. Exit. 
and then it's going to be again in menu one. You can add another one, but we're just going to make it all in one menu. There. There we go. And now um, we're going to make our groups. These are pretty easy to make. This is all easy to me, but to you it's a little complicated probably. Just It doesn't have to be a variable. I just do everything in variables because it's so much easier if you have to work with it later. Group one equals GUI control create group. And now it's just going to be the text, which is... I'll show you text. And then the left left side of it is going to be before this stuff, so 30. And then it's going to be above this, so 10 with 150. And then however high the GUI is, probably uh, 200. And I'll show you what it looks like. See this thing? No, oh, it's too tall. Hold on. Uh, now it's... Hold on. Okay, there we go. All right, you see this cool thing right here? I'll zoom in for you. There's the text. That's what the text is right there. Um, we'll, we'll, you can change that, but um, there's the left, there's the top, there's the width, and then there's the height. And see, you can just make a group around this. I always do them with my bots and make them look sweeter, and they just help um, make the GUI user friendly. And that means you can navigate a little better. Um, so you can just do like this is information. And then we're going to make one more for the other, other information. Group 2. Stop it, Angel. Um, GUI control create group. Uh, other info. Um, left is going to be probably this width plus that left. So 200. Top, same. Width, um, 100. And height, the same. It's, yeah, it's way over there, so you gotta move it left. It's gonna be like 100. Yep, a little too far again. It's always trial and error when you're making stuff. You gotta make it a little better. Width is gonna be 120. Alright, as you can see, there's another group, which is pretty cool. Pretty easy to make, you know. Just thought I'd teach you guys how to do it, though. And now we're gonna add a functions to these so that they actually work when you click them. So here we're going to do add more messages to poll for. If message equals um, help, then it equals the function help. And then one more, if message equals exit, then it equals the function exit. Now we're just going to put it down here because those don't matter. Function for help. Um, it's just gonna be, it could be just a message box, um, title, you guys know how to do that, hopefully, and text will be, this is your help, close those quotations, and, um, end function, because you're done with that function, one more for the exit function, um, it will exit the window, it will, here, I'll add a message box to help you, um, see it box your flag exiting now exiting okay and then it exits the GUI okay, end function remember you have to have those um and now let's test that out oh we have a problem what is this badly formatted function statement are you kidding me what's wrong with that your your which one Oh, wow. Okay, since exit is a function, you, you might want to add a number to it because um, it's a function, so they'll be confused. All right, help. Here's your message box. This is your help. And now exit. Now exiting. And it exits. So it's pretty cool. These are pretty handy handy things to know and how to like do them in your bots or whatever you're making. Menus are always cool, like these things to have, and especially when you're helping people. And... Um, and those groups are pretty cool because they can just help out the user, whoever's using it, and whatnot, and just sort things very good. I always like sorting things, so Oop, we forgot to set our state, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it always shows. It's the default is showing, but I just always do it. It doesn't really matter. So, um, I hope you enjoyed my fourth auto -it tutorial on how to make menus and groups. Um, I'll be making my fifth tutorial soon. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'll be making it soon, so see you guys later.